They literally cut my leg off, they severed a body part, then what happened? And the question that may have plagued your mind is, is Joe keeping her foot in a jar somewhere in the house? Well guys, allow me to introduce you to... The time has come to answer the question that you have been asking me for 18 months. The question that no one ever really wanted to ask, but as soon as they saw my video about saying goodbye to my foot, they couldn't get out of their little minds. The question I didn't even remotely consider until I learned my leg was gonna get hacked off. Uh, where is it gonna, where, where do they go? Where do, where, do the, where do severed body parts go? What do they do with them? Do they give them a nice funeral ceremony? Do they donate them to the zoo to feed them to the lions? Lions get hungry, I would understand it. Is there a ritual sacrifice that we are unaware of that happens in the back? Do you get to keep it? Now that is, that is the real question that people want to know. Do you get to keep your severed body part if you so desire? I have the answers for you guys today and we are gonna dive in deep. Are you ready? I'm kind of ready. I'm not entirely ready. This is actually still kind of a weird subject for me considering the fact that someone actually cut my leg off and did something with it. But here's the answer for you. Weirdos, because you wanted to know. I'm just kidding, you're not weird. I actually am very curious about this subject myself. Before we dive in, if you want to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps the engagement, it helps YouTube get it out to more people, and it would make me feel great. Let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Now, as many of you know, this little puppy right here, we name her Sunshine because I'm walking on sunshine. She ain't a real leg. Uh, I lost my actual leg about 18 months ago due to a variety of complications that led to me eventually having to make the decision to just be done with it so I could hopefully live in less pain. So far, so good. But they literally cut my leg off. They severed a body part. Then what happened? And the question that may have plagued your mind is, is Joe keeping her foot in a jar? somewhere in the house. Is there a basement in this residence that carries a severed body part? Or maybe maybe it's stuffed. Maybe it's not like sitting in a jar of formaldehyde. Maybe it's stuffed on a mantelpiece somewhere. Well guys, allow me to introduce you to <sighs> Alas, only a prop severed foot. Let's get real guys, this is kind of gruesome for Amazon to sell as a, as a prop. I wanted to get one that was a little less disgusting, but if we're real with ourselves, that's probably pretty close to what it looked like. Can we agree on that? Ew. Also, I hope that my foot did not look like a total veiny man foot. But hey, I'm not gonna discriminate. If that's the case, so be it. So, to get the weird question out of the way, I did not keep my foot. Let's talk about what actually happens to severed body parts after they're amputated the majority of the time. I feel like we should put this on a, like a pedestal behind me as we're chatting. Okay, so what happens in the majority of situations is when you go through a limb amputation of some sort, your body part is then bagged up, and this is kind of weird to me, and it's sent over to get like disease tested from my understanding, it's sent over to pathology and then it is incinerated. It's burnt up. And quick side note, this is a real story. When I woke up from my amputation, I immediately felt like my foot, the one that had just been cut off, was on fire. Like that was a very real sensation that I had. And I learned that it was like literally on fire, probably about that same moment. I don't really believe in things like that necessarily, but I can tell you that that's actually what happened. Perhaps my nerves were communicating telepathically at that moment. Disposing of body parts that will eventually be rotting and decaying if they are not properly kept is really important. It's a health hazard if it is not done appropriately. And so incinerating body parts, it's a weird sentence to say, is the best way to do it in many situations. Now, however, there are some exceptions to that. I'm not gonna lie, mostly because my husband had some art ideas for it. My, We wanted to know if there was like the possibility of me being able to keep that body part if I wanted to. Like what if we wanted to have a burial ceremony for it? Or what if we wanted to, you know, stuff it and turn it into a doorstop because hey, that's a conversation starter. I'm glad we didn't do that for the record. The hospital system that I was treated with, that I was in, said a hard no. They do not return body parts to you, which does seem kind of weird considering it's literally the definition of your property. Like it can't get more personal than your own body, but for health reasons, they will not give you that body part back. There are some exceptions to that. If your religion requires you to be buried with all of your body parts, I understand that there are some religions that do function that way. There can 
can be exceptions made under extenuating circumstances such as that. However, that is not the norm. But there are other hospital systems where rules are a little bit more lax and people have actually been able to bring them home. I know two stories in particular that I would like to share with you that were shared with me right before my own surgery. The first is <sighs> the foot taco guy. I am guessing you can probably figure out the rest of the story from the title, but um, a, a guy had a leg amputation. He brought his leg home and then he had a cookout and he made he made tacos out of his leg for his friends. And they had a taco foot party. The, like the epitome of dark humor. Also, um, is it safe to eat human meat? Oh God, I hate that, that sentence just came out of my mouth. Foot tacos are just not my cup of tea. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Uh, the second story that I'm aware of, the story of a Russian man he was a very large man who uh, requested his leg back. He had an entire leg amputation and he wanted to make a leg lamp like a Christmas story, except he put his entire leg in a big old vat of formaldehyde, put a light on top of it. I believe it was a purple light bulb and then tried to sell it on eBay. But here's the thing, guys, you can't sell body parts on eBay. So it was a real bummer for him that he couldn't make any money off of it. Ugh, that had to be a disappointing day for him. Uh, so his leg lamp, I'm sure, is still sitting at home or or sold on the black market. Also, you might be familiar with this story from Instagram. I think it's kind of a cool one. A gal by the name of Christy Loyal got her foot back in a bag after her amputation. God, that just, that, oh, that, that really makes me uncomfortable to think about. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comment section down below. Apparently, Christy kind of made a joke about wanting her foot back and then was like, no, I actually, I want it back. It's, it's my freaking foot. She got it back, had it properly preserved and taken care of, had the skeleton taken out, and now it has an Instagram account called One Foot Wanderer, in which she takes pictures of her, the bones of her feet, the bones of her actual foot, in different places all around the world as she travels around, which I mean is fairly badass. Uh, one article I'm reading on BBC right now says that if she leaves it anywhere, dogs will often try to take it because it's like chewing on bones. That's a funny problem to have. Long story short, I did not keep my foot. I don't really regret it. I parted ways with it. It's gone. I did make a video a while ago in which I did find out through hospital reports that there were photos of my severed foot floating around in hospital networks somewhere, which is, oh, yeah, mm, which is bizarre to think about. If I ever wanted to retrieve those, I bet I could probably fight to get those back, but I don't think I actually want to see that, at least at this junction in my life. Just personal preference. Generally speaking, limbs are incinerated. It is the healthiest, safest thing to do in many situations, but depending on what hospital system you're going through, what their particular regulations are you might be able to fight to get your body part back if that's something you really want also please note you, you can't sell body parts on eBay so don't try to and please for the love of God don't make foot tacos thanks for listening guys I really appreciate it let me know if there's any questions I can answer down in the comment section down below if you want to give this video a thumbs up like I said it helps the video get out to more people it helps the engagement rate and I would really appreciate it if you want to see more of me in your YouTube feed subscribe to this channel and I wanted to give a big thing Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You guys sincerely help me more than you know. You make this channel possible, and I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. To everyone who took some time out of their day to watch this video today, thank you. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything, and you chose to spend it with me, and that means a lot to me. I love you guys, I'm thinking about you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! Is this weird? Is this too weird? I think it's kind of funny. This will definitely show up in upcoming videos. It's just kind of a cool prop. It's kind of gross. I just feel like there are so many potential uses for things like this around Halloween. Halloween and Halloween costumes. Give me some ideas if you have them, guys. Okay, actually, bye now. Bye. Guys.